Welcome to Analytics with Nax. This is another video in the Catch Up with Nax series, and it is all going to be Power BI release May 2024. Let's try to check it out what Microsoft has brought new as part of this release. If you're new to this channel, hit the th subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. Let's begin. So as usual, I'm not going to discuss all the features that Microsoft has announced uh, this month. Only few features which I like most, which are matrix layouts, published to fol folders, and there are some updates about Copilot. The entire world is going towards AI. So Microsoft has no exception in that. So they have um, improved a lot in terms of uh, question questions about data in your model using Copilot and also copilot can write and explain dax query for you and there are certain features which are in preview for uh, last few months which is dax query view model explorer and inside a model explorer you have calculation group all are generally available as part of this release these are some of the outlets um, as a development perspective and let's try to explore it in the website this channel contains um, free content that covers power bi msbi and fundamentals of sql as well as azure use this free content share this content with your friends and colleagues so you can see here uh, there are a lot of updates and um, they have uh, Microsoft build last week, I think, and there is a uh, exam discount uh, information as well over here. So you can follow up if you are trying to jump into new uh, into data analytics career. This will be a um, chance for you to grab it in a discounted price. And as I said, um, what are the features I like? This is very important thing like matrix layouts whatever people say people love excel right so there are certain layouts that exist in the excel which is not available in the power bi so there was a huge demand for this and microsoft has introduced it so you can see what is the comparison they are trying to make so show in compact form show in outline form show in tablet form so that was what the layout is so it will be under layout and style presence it is similar to your excel then repeat all item labels do not repeat all item labels which is repeat or um, repeat row headers as a um, button you should on or off so based on that you will get the layouts like this i hope it is very important uh, thing and also we um, there is a requirement long back a few years back they want to introduce uh, blank rows we always say no now there is a time uh, we can introduce a blank row in a matrix table so there are a lot of improvements here um, so this is uh, all about the matrix visual then going to publish to folders if you are not following the fabric one i think in the fabric capacity in the workspace power bi service workspace now we can able to create the folders i am not sure whether you need to have a fabric or without fabric also we can create a folders now basically what um, it's all about is like you can able to publish from your desktop to the folders created in the services that is what it is in order to enable that this is still in the preview future publish dialog support folder selection right so this is the um, update so you can able to choose the folders and this is basically to organize your content because once you see um, earlier with before fabric uh, we have only data sets and reports now with fabric we have a lot of other items um, like data flows or whatever uh, warehouse and you can also create lake courses all other stuffs so it is good to make it as a folder otherwise it will be clumsy 
so that is what it is all about you can organize uh, your content using the folders in the services and from desktop you can publish the next item is copilot so basically what um, this update is all about it is not only the contents within the report you can read this sentence now you can read already asked questions about the data present in the visuals on your report pages now you can go deeper by getting answers directly from the underlying model basically what it's like if you ask a question in copilot if anything can be fetched from the report page that will be written immediately if not it will go and uh, extend um, your question to the model if it is not available in the report that is what this um, you can ask questions about your data in your model it's not not required to be present in the report this is all about uh, copilot uh, for um, power bi model announcing general availability of dax query view so as i said there are a lot of general availability again copilot copilot to write and explain dax queries in the dax query view so you can see here initially um, you can ask this one explain this query explain a dax topic or keep this query and then you are saying like add in cox right this is the just a copilot one along with this query just add one more measure you can see the results here so copilot will add your measures for you using a um, what you call the natural language you can um, instruct the copilot then it will return the dax query for you so that is all about um, uh, copilot um, features in the dax query view then as i said a uh, lot of uh, general availability um, what is that <coughs> we have seen dax query view model explorer and the calculation group which will be at the top we will try to navigate from here here it is so general availability of model explorer and authoring calculation groups in power bi desktop so these are right now generally available there is no preview features for this i hope uh, that's it there are a lot of uh, other features um, from microsoft uh, this month if you are interested you can go through this blog if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset